we are still in the Mini Cooper SE and you know, today I want to do a little experiment here. I know that driving on wet road will increase the consumption because, uh, well actually, yeah, I, I think it's a general misconception that rolling resistance increases with wet road, but actually rolling resistance decreases. That's why it's easier for you to slide off the road on wet road. But because you have water on the road, uh, you need to push that water away and that increases the energy. You need to spend extra energy to push the water away. And also behind the wheel, you see that it kicks up the water. Everything, all that physics that happens needs to get energy from somewhere, which is the car driving it. So, you know, yesterday I did a test, range test, and this car achieved really good result. So now I will test again, same speed, 90 kilometers per hour and 120 kilometers per hour and then we see how much we really spend on wet road. I suspect, based on my experience, 10% increase in the low speed and then 15% increase in the high speed. So let's go then. Okay, we have 90% now. We don't have to charge 100%. We will just test consumption today. So we drive, I think I will drive to Espa and back again. That's, that's 65 kilometers round trip. And then we see what the consumption will be. We are on the run now, so um, not too much traffic going north, that's good. But I see a big chunks of cars going south, so um, I hope they don't interfere with my high speed test. But that will be done in almost an hour, yeah, about an hour. And hopefully it's 9 now in the evening. So when I run the second test at 10, then hopefully they won't mess up my test. But uh, you see that as long as the tarmac is fairly fresh, like over here, then we don't have those deep pockets with water that you see on places where it's not as fresh. Let me, let me just check here on this side here. Uh, is it? Uh, no, this one is also fairly good. We have a phenomenon in Norway because they use studded tires and then the tracks where the, car, the, the wheels usually run at will have some, uh, how do you put this? It's just like a like a, a well, a deep uh, gorge or something. <laughs> I'm bad at this. Very dolly English. Yes, but you know what I mean? There will be pockets of water there. And of course, if I see those, I will try to avoid them. I don't know. Some people seem to just run over them. And that could increase the chance of aquaplaning and increases rolling resistance. I mean, well, it increases resistance in general or consumption. and. To me, I, I don't like driving on that, but you know, <laughs> a little side note here. Tesla Autopilot and many, many auto sales systems like ProPilot or whatever, LFA, they tend to also drive right there. So um, hopefully, Autopilot, maybe Tesla Autopilot can be so smart that it will detect that, hmm, wipers are running, cameras picking up something that looks like water, Wasser? on the on the bound, autobahn so uh, how about we drive a little bit off center and avoid those water pockets huh how about that elon here is the turnaround point at espa yeah it was more than uh, 65 round trip it's slightly longer i forgot i usually turn around at uh, the so we just flip mode here and then go back to the starting point and the consumption uh, Okay, we have to see. Uh, it seems a bit low now, but uh, we have to see in the end by the time we are back at the starting point. That's why it's very important to do A, B, A. Go to this point B and then go back to starting point so we don't have any elevation advantage or wind advantage. Because I think we have tailwind on the way here. I'm not sure. Oh, that blinker sound. Mm. We are back at the starting point and I guess 10% increase. <laughs> that is so wrong, man. The consumption was 154. Yesterday was 128. So that's 20% increase. <laughs> okay. Now we have to juice up enough. Enough. Yes, yeah, so we do not run out of juice. And then we go for the high speed test and I bet it will be 210, 220. Yeah. We are on the run now, on the high speed test. 
and it's getting a little bit dark now it's uh, 10.42 so not much to report as expected, as forecasted we have lots of rain and wet road this is exactly what we need to test so I usually test on wet, I mean on, on dry road you know, but this time we try on wet road so I've chosen to drive a little bit further than the previous run because I want to um, measure the losses but if I take a next exit, that would be too far. So we uh, just turn around here. It's called Tongen. Yeah, Tongen. Then we go back. It'll be uh, 97 kilometers or something. 94, I think. Okay, we are back now. And the result this time was 209 watt hour per kilometer. That is 32 watt hour per kilometer more than yesterday. 177 versus that one and that means 18 percent increase so if you compare with the low speed test you see that in the low speed test the increase was 26 watt hour per kilometer and the high speed was 32 so in percentage it's less and this actually makes sense because this kind of well rolling resistance is more or less constant at a certain point but i guess the physics is that when you hit the water with higher speed I guess maybe there's more splash or whatever i'm not sure maybe there's a splash in the back but in at some extent yes you, you require more or less the same energy to push away the water whether you drive fast or slow right correct me if i'm wrong so that's why the increase in rolling resistance i don't know what to call it is not that great when you drive at high speed it's, it's more like some some base consumption that you have to add when the road is wet but of course how much the the increase is also depends on the road so today it was wet but if it's not that wet or if it's been several hours since it was raining then of course the increase is smaller but the the trend here is that you know the consumption is going up with wet road yeah and i guess if I would try a fossil car, you will also have higher consumption. But the property with fossil car is that the higher the load, the more efficient the engine gets until a certain point, I think. That's why when you, you're pulling a trailer with a fossil car, the increase might just be, let's say, 30% fuel uh, versus uh, electric, where the, the consumption is pl plus 80% or something, you know? Yeah. So anyway, interesting, yeah. I mean, I knew it was higher, but I just wanted to see how much higher was it. So now I know, now you guys know. So anyway, that's gonna be it for now. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.